Hello everyone, welcome back to Messy Monday Replay. I'm feeling so much better than the previous video I did, but I have some tea for you today. But before I start with the tea, I want to make a disclaimer saying that I do not need any shade. I do not want any hate. I don't want this channel to be a channel of hate. I just want it to be a channel where I give you guys the tea and you do what you wish with it. Well, today we're talking about a girl named Malu. Malu, I'm pretty sure it's Malu and her name is Malu Travojo. I discovered her on December 2nd when she was broadcasting with Flaming Geos and I posted a video about that. I also posted a video showing her musicallys and another you now of her singing. So if you'd like to see those, make sure to click the top right hand corner of the screen so you're able to see and maybe get a better knowledge of her if you didn't really know her like me. She has over 1.4 million followers on Instagram and these followers are the reasons why she's getting so much hate and there's a lot of controversy around her so overnight Malu gained approximately 824,579 followers so almost a million followers in less than 24 hours that's absolutely crazy so I'm getting all of my information from socialblade.com slash Instagram slash user slash Malu Trevojo it will be linked down below as well as on the screen you can take the tea, look at the same tea that I'm looking at. Social Blade simply, a lot of YouTubers use it, a lot of Instagrammers use it, and it's used to track how many followers someone would gain in a certain day or month or year. The reason why there's a lot of controversy behind her is because people think that she purchased her followers now if you're on instagram she had quite a big following almost 600,000 people followed her you can get sponsorships so i don't think it's a question of where she would get the money from i think it's um a question of did she really purchase her followers because it's really bizarre to hear someone getting over almost getting almost a million subscribers in less than 24 hours it was said that in that time she didn't really post any viral videos or anything like that people were wondering how she got all of these followers when all she was doing was posting instagram pictures sure she's a pretty girl but it takes a lot to get over 800,000 people to follow you in one night. If we look at her algorithms here, if you yourself have ever purchased followers or you know someone who has purchased followers, usually what happens is these followers want follow backs. So if you look, she doesn't really follow back that many people. And most times what happens is if you don't follow back those people who have followed you, they will unfollow. And that's exactly what happened. If you look at this stat summary she lost 14,000 followers in one day so in the same way if you were to purchase followers or if you were to do one of those followers plus I don't know what they're called but they're like you can purchase your followers if you don't follow those people back a lot of them are following you for another follow so as you can see maybe those 14,000 people were yes they were purchased and they were expecting a followed back and they didn't receive one so they left another thing is this is not the first time where she's been called out for being fake or things like that. If you're familiar with a girl named Keeping Up With Renny, she posted a video on Instagram on her official Renny account before it was deleted. And she said this. Okay, I already don't like Manu, but this is not a personal thing. On any level, this is not no personal type shit. It's just the fact that she told her followers her mom was sick and shit and she need money and she got a whole new iPhone 7. And when she got her that iPhone 7, that link went down the drown. Like, I already make, I make money off of Instagram myself. But I don't got, I still got the iPhone 5C because I got bills to pay. My mama don't play that shit. I got, I pay bills in this house. But I'm chilling because I know she's not coming for me and if she want to try it, she can. If she want... I can say that shit in Spanish. Nena, si tú quieres que yo hable contigo, solo dime. 
no es nada, yo te digo en español, en inglés, en francés, en lo que tú, lo que tú quieras, yo lo hago. Pero lo que tú estás haciendo no está bien, tú tienes que arreglar eso. Más bien, comprarme el iPhone 7 también, porque yo lo quiero. But again, you can see that people may have patterns of being fake. Now, in no way am I saying that she faked that her mom was going through a hard time or anything like that. These are just other people's observations. So again, I'm giving you the tea and you yourself as a person can individually decide for yourself. Do you believe Malu is buying followers? Do you believe she is not buying followers? This is just the evidence. The, these are statistics and numbers that are proven. If you've been following her, you can say it yourself. Are you one of the followers that she may have purchased? Have you ever purchased followers and have you seen the same kinds of things? I'm leaving a poll up in the top right hand corner. I want to hear what you think. Did she actually buy her followers? Yes, no. I always like to let my subscribers have a say. So I hope you guys will be blessed. Stay out of the mess and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.